Y'all see this picture behind me here? That right there is South Africa's mathematics team or the national math team. Them right there. Now, they just won a global math contest. I, I want you to take a good look at this. Look at this here. This is South Africa. Now, I oftentimes hear this thing of how black people have it, um, well, have it harder than anybody else. Right, that it is racism that is stopping black folks from succeeding, etc. Well, more specifically, from getting the sort of positions that other people are, whether it is in academia or in you know the work world, the corporate world, etc. Now, let me break this down real quick using just this image here. South Africa is a predominantly black nation, right? Say what you will about the country, but it is predominantly black. This team is made up of what seems to be Asian folks and white folks. Now, the reason for that is not because of a lack of representation, but instead because these are the people who prioritize mathematics. I'm not going to take it into this, you know, nonsense argument of, well, they're just smarter. No, 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 no. These people here prioritize math therefore they become astute the best of the best in math you see how that works if we want to be in positions like this we have to prioritize the things that they do because math is one of those subjects that doesn't care how you feel right the, the answer is the answer the equation is the equation it's kind of like sports. You suck or you've got it. And whichever one that you give yourself to, you're going to reap the rewards of that. Now, anybody who sees that as some sort of a white supremacist message, then I don't know what else to tell you. This is the best way I can help you. If we want to find ourselves in more of this type of situation, simple. Do the math. Now, a lot of people have been insertioning black South Africans ever since this picture went online. For those of you people who don't know, these are the people who represented South Africa in the World Mathematics Olympics and they won. They came back home with the trophy, with the gold. So they came out first place. They brought this trophy in Africa. I don't think there's any other African country that has ever won it. But that's not what people are talking about. They are not talking about the fact that South Africa has brought an international trophy to Africa. Instead, they are focusing on the fact that there is no black person on this group. You understand? For those of you people who don't know, everybody from every ethnicity have one thing that they prioritize from. And let me explain something from you people. South Africa is a rainbow nation. Yes, for those of you who don't understand what I mean, what I'm trying to say is they are black South Africans, they are white South Africans, they are Asian South Africans, and they are Indian South Africans. Now, all these people from this ethnicity have something that they prioritize themselves in. If you look at the sports industry in South Africa, it is mostly colonized by black people. 80% of every player in every single pl uh, uh, club in South Africa is black. You understand? Now, if you look at chemistry, I'm talking about chemistry, all these, there are formulas, sodium, bicarbonate, uh, 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 hydrogen, peroxide, and all of these things. These are things that the people from the Indian ethnicity prioritization. Indians are very, very good at chemistry. That's why, you see, we have a lot of Indian doctors and a lot of Indian scientists over there in the world right now. They like chemistry. They are very, very good at it. That's what they prioritization. If they go for a chemistry exam, in South Africa, you will see that most of the people that would be choosing to go and represent South Africa are people from Indian ethnicity. Now, let's come now to mathematics. All these, there are 2 plus 2. Find the color X, find this, find Y. These are things that people of the Asian ethnicity prioritize. You understand? When it comes to mathematics, Asians are the best. They are the best in mathematics. They are the number one in mathematics in the whole world. You understand? That is why you see, if you look at this group, they are made up of Asians, fully Asians, fully. In fact, 80% or 90% of the group are made up of Asians because that is what they are good at. So if you people want to insertion on black South Africans, go and check the sports industry in South Africa and check who dominates that section before you come online and start saying stupid and rubbish things and start saying, oh, 
Oh, black South Africans are not doing nothing. They cannot be presenting their country. Go and check the sports industry before you come and commentation nonsense. Because I've been seeing so many of you people coming on my DMs and saying, eh, Grand Zena, look at this. Eh, black South Africans cannot do shit. Go and check the people who want it for the US. The people who want it for Uncle Donald Trump's country. Go and check the people. And you will see that there is Asians, is American Asians that won that competition for the US when the US won it. Go and check it and you will see. I hate all this nonsense. Even me and South Africans, I know that we have our own things every single time that they took away my eyebrow and I cannot still forgive them for that. But I tend to say what is right. For those of you people who insertion me, say whatever you want. Insertion me. I know some of people come under the comment section and start insertion me. My mother, my father, start saying your family this, your family that. Say whatever you want, but me, grandson, I will forever say the truth. You are very, very stupid to look at this picture and say black South Africans are not contributing to the South African economy. Anybody who commentation that nonsense, that person is very, very foolish. Tell me what you got to think under the comment section. Don't forget to like and share. One loaf. It's day 85 of telling you positive South African stories until we grow this audience to a million people that love the brand we call South Africa. And we hope these stories inspire you. Now, South Africa has clinched the top spot at the 2025 Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad held in Botswana. Our brilliant young minds walked away with three gold, two silver and one bronze, beating top teams from across the continent. Stars of the show included in Eric Sienekal, James Prince and Noah Greenblatt who got gold, with Olivia Castleden and Ruth Trimble, silver, and Juan Ruzao, bronze, in the girls' division. Esse also swept medal, showing the power of diversity in STEM. Their success is part of a national learner program by the SA Mathematics Foundation, backed by Old Mutual. These young champions are proof that with curiosity, hard work, and support, South Africa's future is bright. For more positive stories, you can go to our platform, of course, it's socialtv.ca.za. Remember, be good, do good. International Math Olympiad happens in Japan. Okay, so then you have Team South Africa, which wins this, apparently. The title of the headline says, South African geniuses calculate their way to success during International Olympiad. Bear in mind, it's held in Japan. And then when I saw the team, I was like, yeah, go South Africa. But I'm curious when the Korean team saw the South African team, I'm curious what they were thinking. Okay, here, so here's the winners, the two brothers, Minyuk Kim and, oh, Yo Kim, Yo Kim. Yeah, Silva. Wow. I'm really curious what the Korean team thought. <laughs> I really am. I'm just like, Namagong Africa. <laughs> Like, that must have been so interesting. Such an interesting encounter. But, like, well done, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for flying the flag. Well done. Yeah. Sounds are cool to come together And united we shall stand Let us live and strive for freedom In South Africa, our land what do you get when you mix brain power, determination, and a whole lot of calculators? You get South Africa's 2025 International Mathematics Olympiad team, who just gave the world something to, to talk about. That's right. Our young mathletes just pulled off the country's best performance in 25 years landing 38 out of 110 nations. Let that sink in. Out of all the math prodigies across the globe, South Africa punched way above its weight, earning one silver, four bronze medals, and even an honorable mention. That's no small feat. Now let's break this down like an algebra problem. The International Mathematics Olympiad isn't your average school exam. It's brutal. Six mind-bending questions spread over two days, and only the best of the best even dare to compete. So for South Africa to climb the ranks like this, it's not just impressive, it's historic. Our students proved they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world's sharpest minds, and they did it with grace and grit. 
But of course, in true South African fashion, no victory is ever without a side of drama. Social media lit up not just in celebration, but with a few sour comments too. Some questioned the racial composition of the team, asking why it seemed to be made up of mostly Asian and white students. Where are the black kids, they asked. And sure, it's a valid conversation in a country still navigating the legacies of inequality in education. But let's be real for a second. Shouldn't we also be celebrating these kids for what they did achieve? For putting South Africa on the global maths map? Here's the thing. This isn't about erasing the past or ignoring representation. It's about recognizing excellence where it shines, while also doing the work to make sure opportunities are open to everybody. These kids didn't choose their race. They chose to work hard, solve problems most of us can't even understand, and they brought home medals for all of us. Black, white, Indian colored. We all share in that pride. Instead of tearing down this win, how about we use it as a spark? A spark to invest more in maths and science education across the board. A spark to support learners in under-resourced schools. A spark to mentor the next generation of black mathematicians, engineers, and thinkers. Because the goal isn't to replace one group with another. It's to make sure every child in South Africa, no matter their background, has the chance to stand on that stage. And let's talk about unity for a moment. The term Rainbow Nation isn't just a feel-good slogan. It's a promise. A promise that all of us with our different stories and cultures can find common ground and stand behind one another. When South Africa scores a win on the world stage, it's not a win for just some of us, it's for all of us. Whether it's in maths, music, sport, or science, we shine brightest when we shine together. So, to the 2025 IMO team, thank you. Thank you for showing us what excellence looks like, for reminding us what's possible when talent meets discipline, and thank you for putting South Africa back on the mathematical map. You've made history, and you've made us proud. Now let's make sure we keep that momentum going and bring even more young minds into the equation.